What's up, Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Girlies. I'm here with Victoria's Kitchen LLC and the Supremes. Hey, girls, how are y'all? Good. So, what, what is Victoria's Kitchen? So, Victoria's Kitchen is a youth cooking school. Um, we started in about the end of December 2016, and we specialize in teaching kids the importance of cooking and baking from scratch. And we also emphasize on using more natural and organic ingredients instead of processed ingredients. That's outstanding. How long have you been doing this? Since about, we started December 2016, but we got our first clients around February 2017, so a little over a year and a half. And how does, how does a parent contact you to provide cooking classes for their children? So they can call us directly um, at our phone number, which is also listed on our Facebook page, which is our main page where they can contact us at and send us a message. But they can also register their children through Richmond Public Schools, Hopewell, Henrico, or Chesterfield because we do their aftercare programs. And they can also contact us regarding our community center classes. So what are some of the things Victoria's Kitchen cook? Well, girls, what do we like to cook? We like to cook. Ariana, what do we teach kids how to cook? Stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken. What else do we teach kids how to cook? Pizza. We make pizza from scratch. We teach them how to make a lot of vegetarian dishes as well. Because my four-year-old, she practically eats like a vegetarian, except she likes fried chicken. So we teach them how to make a variety of bread, just anything that we think will help them to encourage their families to get in the kitchen and cook with them and to eat better and have a better last lifestyle. So what if my two-year-old, what if I wanted to enroll my two-year-old? Yes, and that's so funny that you said that because our classes start in ages two and go all the way to 18. And that's mainly because when I started, I had a toddler because she was two years old. And a lot of things toddlers couldn't get into because of their age. So we have like no bake cooking sessions or sessions where they bake, but of course we put the food in the oven for them. So ages two all the way to 18. Now what if I wanted my two-year-old to cook a filet mignon? Can we, can we do that? So yes, we can. We can, we, we can teach them how to do that. I feel that anything adults can do, kids should have the opportunity to do as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. So girls, what, what are your favorite things to cook again? Stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken. Girls, are we ready to make some stuffed chicken? Yes. So we do a lot of our event cooking classes at the Glen Allen Cultural Arts Community Center. And we also do some at the Stewart School, doing the summer cooking classes and their middle school, after school enrichment cooking classes. So what are some of the ingredients uh, that go into the stuffed chicken? Well, we have our granulated onion powder and garlic powder. And then what, is, what do we have here, Ariana? Our kosher salt. Our kosher salt. We like to use cream cheese and salsa, mozzarella cheese, and some fire roasted tomatoes diced up. Girls, do you like cilantro? Yes. You do? And we put a little fresh curry powder in our salsa to give it a little kick. Yum, <laughs> curry powder. You like curry powder? What if we wanted to use a chicken thigh? You could use chicken thighs. I just want to maybe fillet them and make them flatter. Mm -hmm. um, you could also use chicken legs and just cut a slit into it and stuff everything inside of it. The casserole cheeses or even some Asiago or cheese that already has a taco seasoning in it. First, we're going to take the chicken breast. And then we're gonna lay them flat down on the pan. And then we're gonna take our granulated onion powder.
and our garlic powder and sprinkle some of that on the chicken breast with some kosher salt. Some oregano, some taco seasoning, and some ground black pepper. Then we're gonna take our cream cheese I like to do it myself, just using my clean fingers and smoothing it on the chicken. And then we take our fire roasted diced tomatoes. And put that on top. Then we take our salsa and put that on top of that. Then we take some cilantro. Put that on there. Then some fresh mozzarella and add that to the top. And then we just roll it on up. And stick a toothpick right on top of it all the way through to the bottom. We take the same seasonings, the garlic powder, onion powder, the kosher salt, taco seasoning, oregano, and black pepper. Sprinkle that on top of the chicken. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Um, 
at 350 degrees and let it bake between 35 to 45 minutes depending on how thick your chicken breasts are. So what what's the canola oil, what, what does that do? So the canola oil, I just like it to give it a little shine and to not make it as soggy. I find a lot of times when I use canola oil when I bake that my chicken isn't as dry and it gives a little shine to it. So what was your inspiration behind Victoria's Kitchen? So it all started um, when I realized that um, my oldest daughter Ariana when she was younger I had to create her baby food and you know make her breads and pizzas from scratch because she had certain food allergies they weren't fatal but they would make her sick for a couple of weeks and so we started getting into making everything for her and then when she became around maybe two or three we started teaching her how to make her own breads and pizzas from scratch so that she wouldn't get sick going to pizza parties that her friends would have and people were noticing oh you're, she's making this and she's little how is she making this and we were saying you know we taught her how to make it so that she would feel comfortable and still be able to eat the same foods and it still didn't click yet and so we kept on going a couple of years and then I finally realized um, after working in corporate America that I wanted to spend more time with my children and I also of course love to teach to cook I love to eat and I love um, just being with kids exactly <laughs> and I love being with kids so I just decided to talk to my husband and he gave the okay for us to start Victoria's Kitchen which is a kids cooking school and it allows me to spend more time with my kids to bring them to some of our cooking classes when we do events and different things. Thank you Miss Helen for having us on your show. My pleasure. There you go folks we are with Victoria's Kitchen and we just had cilantro rice and Mexican stuffed chicken. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> The Suited Box, specializing in custom apparel for men and women. Stop buying clothes that don't fit. Take charge and build your own style from hundreds of fabric and brand choices. The Suited Box, why look like everyone else? Stand out. We're here at Cambro Soul Food and Lounge. Let's see what they got cooking. Right, here's the kitchen. What I'm going to show you today is um, Asian beef kebab. I'm from Cambodia. I kind of put it really mild, not too strong and powery. So it's all, it's like a kebab, but it's more like an Asian Cambodian taste to it. So if, so you have a Cambodian soul food spot. Exactly. So my thing is, like, I think everybody has soul food. You know, Cambodia have own soul food. You know, everybody have their own version of soul food. Soul food meaning, you know, it's like poor food. We try to take, make as much as we can, make it flavorful. So everybody has a little version, so I want to bring this out and show it to you. But when I think of soul food, I think of like African American soul food, which is fried chicken, collard greens. But wow, I've learned a lot here today. We do have mashed potato. Everything is from fresh. Nothing's from the can. We have candy yam. We got all that stuff. But also, I want to bring some of my tradition into the menu. So I pre-cut some steak. Okay, what kind of steak? What cut? What well, kind of meat? Looks like ribeye. This is actually, uh, what's that, um, um, brisket. It's the finer meat. Get out. So what I do is I put a little bit of bacon soda. Mm -hmm. That's a little trick that I learned. Bacon soda make it more tender. On the steak, it's kind of break it down, make it soft and everything too. So I'm gonna get you involved since my hand is already. Okay. All right. What you need me to do? So what I do is defrost it. This one. One is for the marinade and one is for the sauce. You need the marinade. All right. My marinating skills are boss. I just want you to know that. Okay. Now this is the uh, Chinese. It's called chow shu. Chow shu. Chow shu. Just open one. Yes. You're gonna need both of them. Okay. Right. Chicken base. Chicken base. Mm -hmm. Just one. Yep, one big one. Nice. How much sugar we use? We we'll use about four. Use a lot of sugar. Which is probably a half a cup. Yep. What do you call this? 
this been here before I came here. Uh -huh. So what had happened is we have a soul food restaurant. However, the restaurant before here was a Chinese restaurant. Okay. They have woks. These are all called woks. And I like the wok better because when you're cooking the stew, it give it that smoky flavor. flavor. Yes. Dragon breath, dragon flame, or something like that. Cause it's really hot. It goes up to about 800 degrees. Really? Yeah, it gets really, really high. So I got turned it really low. Brown the oxtail. I brown the oxtail. The reason why I brown it because the color, when you brown it, it keeps. When you cook it so long, it'll fall apart. You want to keep it together with the bone. So by brown is give a little color texture and also keep it together. Forgive me, y'all. I'm a little naive. Uh, I, I don't know what an ox tail is, so I, I'm guessing a tail of an ox. People get thrown off about it. It's really not an ox tail. It takes about two hours to cook for the meat to fall apart. Okay. They're really, really tough meat. Miss Girlie's cooking up some oxtail. I'm getting some ideas. All right, so we have habanero, onion, tomatoes, green onion, and brown sugar. I think sugar needs to be put in all dishes. Don't have to be fully cooked. Y'all just brown it out. Stewing it up. Oxtail stew. but my cooks do the cooking. Okay. I show my all the three how to do and everything. I train everybody how to do it. Awesome. 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 A low heat. Okay, caramelized. I want this brown sugar to caramelize. Don't burn it because it will be bitter. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna throw the oxtail back in. Sorry, I Yes. Yeah. About two spoons. Curry powder. Love curry. A three to four spoon. That's my dry ingredient. Now I'm gonna put my wet ingredient. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. I'll put about a quarter of a cup. Now you know that's a quarter of a cup. I don't know. <laughs> what's your, what's your shire? What's your shire sauce? This is coming together nicely. So does it thicken as it cooks? That's the last step. The meat would fit through the whole thing. I don't need to, because it won't burn the skewer. It'll just probably burn the end tip. So you'll kind of go in, go out, and go back in. So are these grilled or? They're grilled. Awesome. Cook well, correct? Yes, ma'am. So B Sounds, my favorite DJ, and he actually DJs for my Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna need him to pay my money for giving him a shout out on my show. He'll be here on Saturday, playing here next week. There are more than one Daisy Dukes, right? Yes, whole world. So tell us about Daisy Dukes. Um. So when I when I think Daisy Dukes, I think of the shorts Daisy Dukes. So it, is it like a Hooters? I can't speak too much of it. Kim's son, oh, he's, he I started see. it, so he could probably tell you all about it. Okay. So we all kind of affiliated with each other. And how Campbell came about is that we just do some ideas around. We was thinking to ourselves, like, hey, I grew up in a, I'm an 80s baby. Well, actually 70, grew up in the 80s, so I love all this old school hip hop and uh -huh. stuff you grew up. So let's do some soul food and some throwback stuff. Do some ideas around for like a whole week. And we came with the name Cambros, which I'm Kim Bowden, he's Kim Bowden. And we're like a brother, so it's Cambros. <laughs> By the time you know, we have Cambros Soul Food and Lounge. So we're serving rice, correct? When it's on red, it's still cooking. Yellow, that means it's cooked. Come here, 
vanilla. It's all about promotion and getting our name it out is, there and stay consistent. Uh, let me have an Al Green. Al Green, huh? I got you. Love and happiness. And we have all these big name DJs from 106.5 and all this radio stations that come up here. The local DJs come in here too, so. Uh, we got a nice crowd in here. Karaoke I, is a big thing now. Yeah, I do karaoke on Sunday. Hospitality. Right. They come to support us because I think they like us. I say this, we treat everybody fairly. Just want to open our doors so everybody get right by opportunity. Right. And you know, we don't look at people up and down. What is this one? Pink Panther. The Pink Panther. Dun, 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 dun. Pink Panther was a great show. Yes, All sir. right. So, Marvin Gaye. Cheers. Cheers. Who does your art? The artwork is Keith Andre. Really nice young man. He's local around here, a lot of people know him. So what I try to do is, when we open this place up, a lot of artwork, anything, employees, all from Hopewell. I try to give back to the community to put this place on the map. Your community will support you. Even They'll even support the Marvin Gaye. Love and happiness. So we got the Pink Panther right here. Let's see what this is all about. Yes. That's delicious. I'm turning up for my birthday. So you added the potatoes in last? Last, yes. Mmm. Yeah, the potato, we don't want to overcook it and make it mushy. Potatoes are cooked to perfection. Mmm. We want a little bite snap to it. That's why we put it last. What we try to do is that bring soul food. Everybody has their own version of soul food. And I'm from Kimbo. My culture, we have soul food. Everybody has one. Um, to me, soul food means like great grandma, grandma, grandma. Pass it down from generation to generation. Um, Food have evolved and put a lot of touch into it. It's basically a family tradition that we cook at home. So that's how I look at soul food. It's a lot of cheap ingredients and we can feed a whole family. So when I thought of soul food, I like, why not bring it to Hopewell? We could cook collard greens, mashed potato, and smother pork chop and everything too, but also put a little twist to it, put a little bit of my culture into it. Like the beef kebab, People love oxtail, so I'll make oxtail stew, put a little bit of Asian flair and touch to it. So that's what I mean when I say soul food. So it's a lot of tradition behind it, so it's a lot of stuff that I was raised up tasting and ingredient I'm bringing on to uh, Cambros. So what do you season your collard greens with? Collard greens, you smoke turkey. Okay. I try not to use pork at all because some people don't use pork. Pork fat, pork bacon, anything. So I use mostly, uh, main ingredient to smoke it is smoked turkey, turkey neck. Um, we use a lot of the traditional seasoned salt and everything too. But we just kind of make it to a little bit different flair, a lot of Asian ingredient into it. I can't tell you everything. Of course. <laughs> We're open seven days a week. We're open at 11 to 2 a.m. Except for Monday. Monday we are open. As soon as football season, we're gonna open back up again. Um, as it hit to the nightlife between 10, 11, and now we have a DJ and we have some kind of comedy show. We always have activities here. So it's not just a restaurant, it's also a lounge where people have a good drink, have a good vibe here. Yeah, I'll drink to that. <laughs> so we are open seven days a week. So yeah, people, we are at uh, Cambro Soul Food Hopewell 264. What's the address? 264 East Broadway. 264 East Broadway, and I'm here eating tails of an ox. Oxtails for those of you. I've never had oxtails before, but it's outstanding. And we're out.
What's up, Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Girlies. I've recently relocated my restaurant to 4809 Parker Street, right in the heart of Fulton. While the contractors were busy renovating, I got bored and hungry, really hungry. So I decided to tour Richmond's restaurant scene. Join me each week as we go behind the scenes of some of the best restaurants Richmond has to offer. Metro RVA Teens is your source for all things teen in Metro Richmond and the Tri-Cities. Discover a new hobby, talent, or career path. Make new friends, grow in knowledge, discover who you are as an individual, create memories, and enjoy being a teen. Thank you to Launch Trampoline Park for supporting Metro RVA Teens. Launch Trampoline Park, coming soon to Richmond. My name is Mariah. My name is Mackenzie. My business is Science with the Sia. I own Paul Polo. CEO and creative designer of Team Wall Creations. I am the CEO of Supergirl I am the owner and creative designer of Jazzy J's Creations, LLC. I am an assistant instructor at Qmon. Doyle's Kitchen. The Richmond Children's Business Fair Team Program encourages youthpreneurs to think, create, and own their own businesses. They are guided and mentored by business and nonprofit professionals who are committed to helping these business owners flourish. The Richmond Children's Business Fair Team Program, where we help dreams become reality. Think it, create it, and own it.